Wait. Hi. So. <laughs> What? Oh, whatever. Start the damn episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Justin. You're Aaron. You're fine. No, fuck no. Stay. We're okay. going to keep this recording. Cut. Yeah. That's and Aaron. <laughs> I'm Andy. That's I'm Justin. Justin. Welcome to Let's game Play game Bioshock 2. Sorry about that. <laughs> they started recording before I was ready. Okay, so, yeah, this is Aaron, Justin, and Andy have already introduced themselves, and Twice. this, shut it, this is Let's Play Bioshock 2, uh, this is a continuation from the uh, last Let's Play we did of the uh, first Bioshock, and we're doing Let's Play Bioshock 2, counting down to the release of Bioshock Infinite, so, um, yeah, let's roll, it's a brand new game, uh, this account has never played it before, so unlike the last one, there's actually going to be, you know, well, it's on a PS3, so it's going to be trophies, but it's going to show you how to get the achievements for Xbox. And, uh, so, uh, we're making it kind of bright because the screen we're looking on is kind of dim. Dark so. as fuck. My bad. Yeah, we're going to start on medium because it's average. Yeah, there so are a few uh, control differences between uh, this Bioshock and the last one. Uh, for example, uh, to use first aid kits, you use uh, right on the D-pad instead of the circle slash B button. Uh, that's actually the new melee feature, so you don't have to use just the wrench to beat the crap out of people. It's going to be nice. So, anyway, to put this into perspective, we've been gone for, what, two months now? Uh, from our perspective, yeah. I have no idea when we're going to release this, but... But, yes. So, we've been gone for two months. Our equipment took a shit in that amount of time. Yeah, we, m we fixed the uh, various audio problems we've been having, but... Our video is now messing with us. So, if the quality seems different, blame the capture program. Yep. Oh. So, 1958. Beneath the Atlantic Ocean. Cthulhu waits. Is that Cthulhu? If it wasn't a soul-sucking demon, I'd be Let's go pretty... Out to play, Daddy. Yes, so to those of you who don't know, you're a fucking big daddy in this game. You know one of those invincible fucks that were impossible to kill in the last one? Yeah, no, you're not. And this is the, actually the first time that as a character of the Bioshock series, you see yourself. You see yourself in reflections all the time, so... Instead of being a faceless character... With only f two floating arms. You're a faceless character behind a giant diver's suit. That still has two floating arms. I'm pretty sure you have no back in this. They probably didn't render it. I don't know, maybe. Oh my god. This city was successful once. Curbstone. <laughs> Sexy. Nice. I forget, what did we say in the last game? Smoking kills but gives you lightning powers? Yeah, something like that. And you Jesus Christ! Senor, you just done stuck the dick in the hornet's nest, and now it's time to face the consequences. Drill. Damn it. Uh oh. What the fuck? Hypnotized Big Daddy Plasmid. Bullshit. Now, kneel, 
Yes, master. Why couldn't we make Big Daddy's kneel? Why couldn't they just say, would you kindly? It would have been so much better. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. Did we just never think to do this? I know, right? Well, our character was mute in the first game, so, um... No, he talked at the beginning. Five. Then how come he never talked at any other time in the game, he ever? Just, he just had nothing to say. Aww. So, that bitch just forced our daughter to watch her daddy die. Yep. By committing suicide. I smell an antagonist. And you know, if Big Daddies are just normal people, then could you use Hypnotize Big Daddy on... Normal people? Yeah. The fuck? Well... Boom. I think I mentioned... Suck it. No, 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 no. Fuck I, your logic. I'm trying to give an explanation. Fuck your explanation, logic. I was actually going to say that people in the Big Daddy suits used to be a, either A... Uh, they tested the original plasmids and lost their fucking minds. Or B, they were members of a penal colony down here that, um, yeah, they were given a second chance of life as a big daddy. Okay, convicted murderer. Here's an invincible diving suit and a giant pneumatic drill. Ooh, red Go crazy. Oh, and here's a little girl, too. Protect her, love her, kill things to if they go near her. I love her in any way you find necessary. Oh, and a little bit of a um, Easter egg moment. Look up to the here. Hi, little sister. Aww. It's uh, kind of like the uh, first game. The first vent you come up to, you can see uh, the eyes of a little sister. The yellow staring. Learn eyes. how to use drill. So, fact: ninety-eight percent of all games start with shitty opening tutorial. Well, der, I need to crouch. Oh my god! I can't believe I never. Oh my god, it's a little girl. Oh fuck, what is that thing? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What? What? Boom. Boom! Shut up. It was. You will find out later. Cyclops. I have spoken. It was a cyclops. Does anyone smell blue? Yeah, the, the tint is just off for a video. So uh, that was the first audio diary that I actually had just picked up. That we're going to ignore. Yeah. What it pretty much tells you is that in order to get to the next place, you have to shoot this with lightning. That, that's all it does. Wait, that's aren't we going does. to get the uh, audio diary achievement? Um, hopefully. So don't you have to listen to all of them? Nope, we just have to get them. Okay. Oh, uh... Yeah, a little bit difference between this game and the last game. Uh, in Bioshock, you had the wrench as your melee weapon. In this one, you have the drill. Well, the drill requires fuel, so... Uh, I want the record player as a melee weapon. Wait, hold on. Did I miss something? Oh! Dang! Hi! Why, hello there, Doctor. So this. You're a doctor. Deal with it. You know. So, uh... Yeah, so where you're supposed to go is down that way where you killed the guy. Uh, but if you come over here, you, uh, find... Well, this is the door with the code. You can see the code written on the inside as 1540. Someone's taking a very hot shower. That's the steam room. Hot With shower. With a busted hot vent shower. Filled hot water. shower. See? There's a charred corpse. Who goes into the steam room fully clothed? I don't know. That oh. bitch. Here's another audio diary which pretty much describes how. This person got fed up with their husband who doesn't do anything except shoot up plasmids. Well, play it. I th I'm sure our community would love to hear. Hey, if they want to hear it, they can buy the game and play it themselves. Or they can look it up on YouTube. I'm sure they have all the audio diaries linked together. Like oh, 
They do. Fucking miracle. Okay, so we're supposed to go over there, but first. Oh god, they did they did they seriously make that fucking advertisement even more annoying? Nope. But if you come up to this thing, Eve hypo dispenser. Yep. And why didn't Big Daddies use plasmids in the last game? Uh, they ex because actually you're a beta program. That. But they actually made the Gatherer's Garden more fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so is this thing free or what? Actually, yes. It's uh, free. However, I, one thing that I don't like about this game is that the original, like, yeah. cap, you can only carry, like, I can't remember if it's five or five. six of these. Yeah. Only five first aid kits and five Eve hypos at once, which is bullshit. Is annoying. Father. What the fuck? I see dead people. Please hurry, Daddy. In multiple colors. There's Which she sidewalk took. Chalk. How the fuck did they get sidewalk chalk down here? Magic. Well, yeah, that's the answer to all their other issues. Ooh, he has a convenient slot into his bed. Yep. He was built that way. And I know we made the joke last time, but... UNLIMITED POWER! Daddy was sleeping for such a long time, and Eleanor had missed you. Who the fuck is Eleanor? The little girl, you dumbass. Your daughter? God damn it. Not again. All I right, hate bitch. it. With the Come on. See, well, before I go coming. chase her down, they're snatching your people up. She's Money. Not, hopefully, she's not trying to rape them. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure so she didn't climb kids. the window. Oop, cigarettes. With lightning power. Hide the kids. Hide your wife. Hide your husbands. Because this would happen to them if you don't. Oh my god. Yeah. I want one in my bedroom. Uh, of course you do. So, yep, that's a corpse. It's not just a corpse. It's a spectacular smoldering corpse. Lightning. Oh. I'll zap that bitch. Zap him, then whack him. I just love doing that. We would like to point out disturbing message in the pool behind you. So if you'll just about face and walk back up. Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. One thing that's a little bit uh, bullshit between uh, this game and the last one, in order to recharge your Eve, you actually have to go into your Eve selection screen and hit the... Uh, square button or the what is it on the X button? The X button. And uh. Lamb is watching. Mm. Master I is watching you. I could go for some lamb. Sounds good. Uh, some Greek food. Raw lamb. Oh no. Anyway. I haven't had that since I was a Satanist. Jump to deep. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Underwater <laughs> Hey! I, why can't I pick up the wrench? <laughs> I could do it last time, but. Stop it! Uh oh. You broke it, you stupid bitch. So you That's set the generator on fire. Nope, I just restarted. Shut it! At last, a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. Again? I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Crowd. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Why the Fine. fuck didn't you leave, like, when you knew what, what all those children did with me up on the surface, you dumb bitch? Uh, you're, you're thinking of the other character, Justin. I'm thinking of the other character, the Tenenbaum that left the city with us. Yeah, this is before. 
Are you sure? No. 19, no, this is 1958. The no? other game took place in 1960. No, no, no. no. Okay, this is 1950. It was 1958 in the flashback where you saw this guy die. Uh, you conveniently s forgot to see the 10 years later thing. So this is oh. eight years after the current storyline. Or, the bio you know what I mean. One. Oh. Audio diary, which explains the um, thing behind Lamb. Um, yeah. She had a daughter. That's pretty much it. And she had a daughter that was kidnapped by Tenenbaum for a creepy child experimentation program that we went into more detail in the last Let's Play. Go watch that one. Which one? We don't remember. Oh, right. They turned people to use the bathrooms down yeah, here. Yeah, those fucking pricks. What the kind of city is they run in here? My English are perfectly fine. Don't point anything out about that. Oh, wait. Somebody should be coming. Yes. Yes. Bah. Electric type beat water type. Actually, hold on a sec. No, you're right. Never mind. And just because I don't like wasting anything. And okay. Just a cabin in wind. Oh, here we go. I don't need to be real. With a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as the leader, but as a mother to the rapture family. Actually, that audio diary that I just picked up explains why Tonnenbaum is back down here again. Because somebody has been kidnapping little girls on the surface and bringing them down here. She's here to take them back. That That's why she's still down here. Are they little this. sister little girls or uh, different little girls? Different little girls. New little girls from the surface that have been turned into little sisters. And this is just creepy. And I'm watching Lamb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sheep shaggy. Ooh. What? Rosie corpse and new gun. We get to use the rivet gun. Back in the rapture, after okay, so Rosie. Many years, the little ones I rescued are grown up. Headshot. Only think of me Hold no still. more. Still. After what I once did to them. Headshot. My joy will be forgotten. But now all around the world. Just hit her with the damn gun. No, I don't wanna. is making new little ones continuing my work my things even if i am to die for it i must stop them and that was the audio diary we just picked up that started playing for some inexplicable reason because he pressed a to pick up the rivet gun but i was supposed to hold down a for it doesn't care whatever it wants you to know you pressed x anyway <laughs> so looty looty loot X I love loot. loot is good Stop Shut it! it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. There's also a little subplot going on in the game involving a guy named Mark Meltzer or something along those lines. <laughs> well, pretty much, it's a guy who his daughter got kidnapped, and he actually followed uh, like a trail of clues and shit, and actually discovered Rapture. And suddenly and died. You know, he didn't suddenly die. He's actually living down here right now. That audio diary that I just picked up explains it. This is the bathysphere that he took to get down here. And now I'm looting more corpses. And luggage. Who keeps wine in a shoebox? I do. <laughs> I'm more of a whiskey person. My mother. <laughs> In the shoulder. <laughs> Can you rivet people to the wall? Uh, uh, when no. you get the harpoon gun later. Yes, we get a harpoon gun. Woo! I'm
I'm lazy, don't. Because the crossbow wasn't good enough. We needed a fucking harpoon. Oh. Fuck. We nice. have to fight a big daddy. It's a trap. See, no big daddy. What the hell is that? That is big sister. What the hell did you put in my drink? Okay, so I'm supposed to fight this bitch. If you're a big daddy and she's a big sister, isn't this patricide? I don't know, but um, yeah, this is actually something that I only recently found out. We're supposed to fight her. However. Unlike normal boss things, I'm just gonna wait. Surprised I'm not dead yet? So was I. There's a little um, hidden thing because you are so outmatched by her. Yeah. By this point, you are. Oh god, damn it! So outmatched. Well, our audio just cut out from our point of view. One second. Just a second. Anyways, you are so outmatched by her. So. Hold on. We know how to fix this. Please, um. Pay no attention to the man behind the corner. We're fixing technical difficulties on our end. Give us a second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so so sorry about that, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah, because you are so outclassed by her, it's pretty much, if you run out of health, you don't die. She just runs away. So instead of wasting the two first aid kits that you had, as long as you don't smoke any cigarettes, you will stay alive. See, smoking can kill. It has And give you lightning before. powers. I'm going to avoid the cigarettes. How the fuck would you smoke in a big daddy suit anyway? Yeah, or drink. Or Don't question it. Or Love eat. It. Or eat corpse cakes. <laughs> Is there a fucking funnel in your helmet or something? Dude, I'd I like don't, to think I don't so. have any of those answers. I don't know. I like to think you just like pour wine down a chute in your head and it like fills your head mask. It's just like chug, so, chug, um, chug, yeah, chug, after chug. the uh, big sister fight, I just picked up another audio diary, which is pretty much Andrew Ryan bitching about his life. Bitch, yeah, bitch. I don't care. First time killed by my own son. He bitched about and his fucking And then I got shot too. in the knee. <laughs> then, <laughs> then I took an, an arrow, arrow to the, to the knee. knee. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that reference? You've you been play too much Skyrim. Games. Wait, who said Skyrim? Skyrim. 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 I'm leaving. Frit fur. Frit fur. Yeah, but, um. Get back here. Damn it, he's. A what? Okay, he's. A Justin's Skyrim! actually. Ass nozzle. Justin's actually left because he's addicted to Skyrim. So, um. Yeah, now that I've got some respectable excuse for. Damn it, he actually left. Yep. What? I'll be back. Okay, so. In greater numbers. <laughs> really? That joke? Okay, so. Follow the arrow, follow the arrow. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh, fuck. There was Big Sister again. Ooh. That's just creepy. Because apparently the Big Sisters our little sisters that were failed to be rescued from the first game. Spoilers. Spoilers. And, uh, yeah. This is them all grown up, and... But we rescued all of them. We will be reborn in the w cold womb of the ocean. <laughs> cold womb. No, 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 let me go, goddammit! Skyrim! No, no, no. No you Skyrim. My game. And Justin's back. 
Okay, so, um, jumpity jump. And time for something cool. Son of a bitch. What? No, 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 no. Bad water, bad water, bad water. Fuck. Ha. Uh, we're just kidding. A giant wall of water can't hurt you. You're in a scuba suit, so you can actually walk around underwater in some places of the game. Like now. Uh, there's such a terribly calm serenity about this. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, but you still you smell like a fish. Long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. Oh, that is a uh, new class of big daddy that we can see now, but won't be able to fight until later. It's called a rumbler. It throws out... Uh, Boom goes the dynamite. Boom <laughs> goes the dynamite. At point blank. <laughs> now, well, um, we won't go into too much oh detail about that God. yet. Oh, my God. It's a gas station. Yes, it's an underwater gas How station. How the fuck does that work? I don't know, but... Shark! Does that airplane remind you of anything? Oh my god, I can't believe I never knew. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the airplane, or at least the tail end of the airplane, that crashed into the middle of the ocean to bring the uh, protagonist of Bioshock here in the first game. That's Keep walking. the same tail piece that crashed into the water walkway that you walked through at the beginning of the game. Is that a fish? Yes, I believe that's more that the was point. a fish. Catch the fish. Nope, that might have been the fuselage, I don't know. Catch Whatever, the there are fish down here. We're in the goddamn fucking ocean. Is the fish taco shaped like a fish? And if you get that reference, you're a 90s kid. Can I hit him with the mic? No! <laughs> and Rocket power time is for awesome. the big review of... God, it's a shark! Oh, this is Rapture. Now, again, sort of. See, welcome to Rapture. Squid! It's a giant squid! Head on a giant face. Cthulhu run ya walk nagger for tagging. Now you have to jump down. Woo, reduce gravity. And walk this way. And talk this way. And god damn it, it's her again. There's oh, that big sister. Bitch. I'm swimming slowly at you. I am swimming ominously away from you because I can swim and you can't. So, uh, yeah, here's the uh, training room. So, uh, I think this is a good place to end the first episode. Cycle of the our airlock. Fine, I will cycle the goddamn airlock. Yay. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, okay, we'll so, uh, end the episode yeah. here. Yeah, this is the uh, end of our first episode of Let's Play Bioshock 2. It's going to be a fun game with a bunch of new twists and turns. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And we pray you come back and watch us again. So... This is... Oh, wait. Got a trophy. Daddy's home. Which means I just uh, How know, completed quaint. the first level. So, um, yeah. This has been Aaron. And Andy. And Justin. So, so we will see you next time. Farewell. We don't love you. Click. He lied.